first half, I know it's, it's, we came in at six four. We had a couple of chances early to get to get away, really, and just not getting over line a couple of times. But we never really got control of the rook, and I think that was where where all got us was the fact that and then transition and on the back of seven seven three penalty count in the first half, and that was we just wasn't winning the rook. That collision was poor. They were punching through the line. Then they started to play with a little bit of pace on the like, quick penalties. Started folding us back and we were surviving and I think we wasted a lot of energy, a hell of a lot of energy in that first half from not being able to get into the whole half of the field. I think we were in there 20 defensively, maybe one set. I said there were two tackles in the first half and just that kind of pressure on our line. We thought we'd regrouped, we came out at half time, we came out at half time and spoke about Trying to get the ball in our hands and just build some pressure, not not big plays. And we drop ball, we give the we give ball away cheaply, and then we don't get on top of we don't get on top of ball when the ball's bouncing about. We're second to that fight, which again gives gives them priority in our twenty. And they score they score three really really. There's 18 points because right, so he couldn't miss with his four. There's 18 points there that are pretty unforgivable, if I'm honest. The dive over from dummy half with his four blocks around. The try from the kickoff, and Charlie not cleaning up a kick when it's bouncing around in front of him. With 18 points there. I say we win, we, we lose that game and we lose it because all are going really well. But I say I thought we were just very very sloppy at for periods of the game that just gave them that little bit of momentum that made it hard for us to get back at him. Your own main message at half time just to sort of try and hang in, hang in the physical contest and tighten up the errors because throughout the first half both sides were guilty of making quite a few errors and the game was very stop start. Yeah, it was. I think they had, they had the front four. I don't, like I said, it was 7 3 penalty count. They had uh, four more sets on the back of penalties and then a couple of other sets on the poor kicks because of the 20 restarts or like I said, just not kicking the ball well. I think that. The physical battle just took his toll on us. And it was, like I say, it was the sides that were both trying to pass the ball, and because of the physicality of it, we were there was ball coming out. But I think Hull, Hull had, the, had the front foot. I think that energy that they took from that gave them a little bit of momentum in the second half. Had a couple of missed opportunities not to score. For, if we'd scored first in the second half, I think that could have been a different. I know this is ifs and ands, but we had an opportunity early, ten minutes in, and we've. Could have got on the scoreboard. Was it disappointing in, in the way that you sort of leaked those points in the second half? Like Very. Yeah. I think that's because there was some heroic stuff on our goal line, set after set again, defending our line against a, a quality side that sits top of the league for a reason. I'd been on a run they'd been on. Some real heroic defensive goal line defence. Like I say, and I, just highlighting the, the sloppy 18 points. The dive over from Dummy Half, like I said, they're just them kind of things, especially there's one bloke, he's played the ball, but we've got four blokes in the region of that, and, he, and Kirk just gets down a lot and he scores in the corner, it's just, say that's, and the kickoff try, that's, again, that's, that's schoolboy stuff, it's, it's really, that's really disappointing. I don't think, I think there was quite a few in there, I thought Christine, Chris Houston, I thought Gil, I thought Lloyd was, Great for 18 minutes again. And Reese was busy. You know I mean, it wasn't like, and I think Char Charlie, for all like I say, he makes a mistake. Like you say, he has to flip onto the wing because Steph pulls his calf. And he does a really good job. He's working hard and gets him, creates that last drive from, from a good line, right? So our effort and energy is not something that I can ever question. We just, we start to defend on our own. We start to attack on our own, we'd become really sloppy is a strange word to use in it, but it's not like I say there's just no accuracy in some of the stuff we do. And then we find it again. But by that same they've scored two tries. And we look pretty strong and then we make a mistake again and then we go back into that and that's the, the story of today was that we just weren't willing just to get just get dirty and just stay in a six four game. Kick the ball in the corner, chase hard and defend. How is Stephen Marsh? He's not at the moment. It's like he's pulled his calf. And that's kind of anything from four to six weeks, depending if there's a turn there. It's not ideal, obviously, especially when the game was tight up to reach the back line around a little bit. Just, well, to be really 
clear. I, I haven't finished a game with 17 balls in nine weeks. <laughs> every, every single week, it's like you have a plan, you think you're going to do something. Somebody falls over on you in the first 10 minutes or something comes up. And, so, yeah, we've, it'd be nice to finish a game with 17 blocks and then we could stick to the plan of trying to put in place and that keeps the energy within the side. But does that affect the scoreline? It's not nice for Tim, but we have people that, like, say, Chris Dean slips into position, Charlie pushes onto a wing, they both do a really good job. It just makes it hard with our back row rotation and also our front row.